For a thyroid exam, the first thing you want to remember to do is to place a pillow underneath the patient's shoulders to help her hyperextend her neck. And now her neck looks ready to scan. For a neck study, the patient does not need to be NPO. Um, use a high frequency linear transducer because the thyroid is a superficial structure, so the higher the frequency, the better. Um, and then ask your patient to move their heads contralateral to the side that you're scanning. So can you please move your head to the left and then to the right? Some breathing techniques that can be used to d displace the gas in the abdomen is asking the patient to take a deep breath and holding it. Can you take a deep breath and hold it? Or ask, breathe, or ask the patient to push their stomach out. You can also apply pressure to the abdomen to displace the gas. For organs located behind the ribs, um, you can do subcostal scanning or intercostal scanning. But with intercostal scanning, keep in mind that there will be rib shadowing and you angle the transducer to work around the rib shadows. To get a better acoustic window, you can ask your patient to turn to their right or left and put their arm over their head. For an accurate transabdominal pelvic study, the patient should have a full bladder. Ask your patient to lower their pants slightly. Oh, can you please lower it down a little more? Thank you. By the pelvic bones, perfect. For a transvaginal study, ask your patient to empty their bladder and then place a wedge on the bed so that they can elevate their pelvis. Ask them to sit on the edge, right over here, and drape her, their legs on each side. For the comfort of the patient, place the transducer under the sheet and have the patient reach under and insert the transducer.